Hi everybody, how you guys doing? Um, so today I'm going to be doing a repair on our Kenmore Elite side-by-side -side refrigerator. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing the water valve inlet which is located in the back of the refrigerator on the bottom. And what this particular part does, it um, directs the flow of water to the water dispenser here on the front of the refrigerator as well as the water that fills the ice tray on the inside of the freezer. And the reason why I'm replacing it is because it's leaking. Um, I've already diagnosed it, so I know that's what it is, and I've already ordered the part. But I just wanted to make this video, you know, just to kind of help somebody else out. And it's actually a really easy job. Probably be done in like 30 minutes or so. And here is the model number right here. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do, which I've already done, is shut off the main water supply to the refrigerator, which is this valve right here. And the way to turn it off and to turn it on, um, you turn it counterclockwise to turn the water on, counterclockwise to turn it off. Next, um, I pull the refrigerator out from the wall, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, unplug it. That way, I won't get electrocuted. So to access the location to where the water valve inlet is, it's right down here. So you have a series of uh, screws. Uh, you could use a flathead or a one fourth inch socket like this one here, which is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take off all of these uh, here. Let's see all of those there. Um, usually you may want to have a shop vac available because there's going to be dust and everything on the floor. Like I said, I've already been back here, so I've already cleaned all of this up. So I'm going to take these screws out and then take the panel off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all the screws out and then all you do is just pull this off like so. Now what I like to do is I like to put the screws back in the sp spot that I took them out of. That way I won't um, lose this place because they're like a whole bunch of different holes that are already on here. Um, you don't have to do this, but this is more so just so I can kind of keep things organized. Uh, by doing it this way. Okay. So let me do these. Okay. All right. So bring my light down here. So this right here, this is the water valve inlet right here. And ours is leaking, which I'm actually going to show you this. I'm actually going to turn the water back on so I can show you that it's leaking. Okay, so you can see it dripping. Let me bring my work light over here. You can see it dripping, like right over here. It's not a big drip, but... I mean, it's enough because it'll accumulate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead to take this out. I just have to take out these two screws here. Again, it's a, I'm using a one fourth uh, socket, deep socket to take this out. So let me move you back a little bit so that you can actually see.
Now, I am going to turn the water back off before I disconnect the hoses for it because if I don't do that, water is going to shoot out everywhere and I'm not trying to have that happen. Uh, also, make sure you be very careful when taking these out because uh, you don't want to mess up any of the wires that are in here. So you see, it just pulls right out like this. Okay, and as you can see, there are two uh, wire connectors here. I believe one is for the valve that allows the water to go to the water dispenser on the door and then the other one um, is a valve to allow water into the ice maker so as you can see you see how it's dripping it's dripping a lot now so let me go ahead and shut the water off and i'll be right back Okay, so, uh, so this, um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disconnect these wires here. Got to excuse my son. He's playing a game right now. And it's real easy. You just push these down like that because they, they kind of rock and just unhook them. Um, you can't mix them up. Because as you can see, uh, one is a six prong and the other is a three. Okay. And in order to release the hoses, let me come up here. These are, here, let me show you this way. You press this in on both sides like this, and then you pull the holes out. I'll show you on the bottom ones. Yeah, because I need I need both hands in order to do that. So that's one hole. So, all right. So you see how these are here. So you push that in like this and then you just pull the hose out found it huh okay and then you may want to have a towel close because it's going to leak okay see just like that so um i already had removed these hoses and reconnected them think hoping that that would have been a problem but that wasn't it so yeah this is the part here okay so let me uh grab the replacement part so i can show you that okay so this is the replacement part here and I ordered this from Appliance Parts Direct, in which I will put a link in the description. Um, I haven't compared these, but as you can see, they're identical. Uh, same colors, the um, hole sizes are pretty much the same. They have the same connectors on both, the bracket same thing and let's see uh, is there anything else that's uh, yeah and I think over here I forgot what the part number is um, yeah I don't remember which one I had to I actually looked up a few things but this is the part here and it, I think it was like a hundred and thirty five dollars uh, for it so all I need to do is reconnect the hoses for the new one. Real simple. 
easy. You can't mix this up because the hoses are different sizes. So all you got to do is just push in and then pull on it. And you see that it's in there. So you just, you know, kind of give it a little pull just to make sure that it's in there. And then this hose here, this is the one that comes right from the water filter. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the water back on just to verify and make sure that it's not leaking. So we'll be right back. All right, so I have it, um, the water back on. I don't see any leaks, but I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the wires here to it. I'll do that first. Yeah. Okay, no leaks. All right. So, um, yeah, pretty simple, you know, easy fix. Um, it didn't, you know, cost anything but a hundred and thirty-five dollars for the part. Um, this is really easy to do, uh, and you know, basically just do everything in reverse. Of course, you want to make sure that the water is working. So let's uh, let me plug this up and let's try that. Okay, and there we go. Okay, see the water coming through. Okay, so um, as you saw, it worked, no leaks. It's unbelievable, you know, that this uh, little piece here cost that much, but I'm guessing it's because of the fact that it's got electrical components on the inside. Um, so just make sure that when you push this back in, make sure that um, that you don't have any wires in the way or anything like that. Then I'm gonna just screw these in. And that's it. And, you know, as soon as you notice the problem, go ahead and fix it because we have a vinyl tile floor and I think this has been leaking for a little while. I'm not sure how long, but what it did was the water got up underneath the tiles and now the tiles are raising up. So now I've got to uh, either replace the tiles. I'm going to try to glue them uh, once the floor dries and see if it'll adhere back to the floor. But um, yeah, so yeah, fix it as soon as you can. All right, so that's it. And I'm gonna just do everything else in reverse. So if you um, have any questions, you know, post them in the comments. You guys have yourselves a blessed day.